Hi, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. In this video, we will talk about what is end fire extinguisher, how to use end fire extinguisher, types of agents used in fire extinguisher. So, what is end fire extinguisher or flame extinguisher? Simply, an fire extinguisher or flame extinguisher is an active fire protection device used to extinguish or control small fires, often in emergency situations. So, it's clear that it's not intended to use for uh, any uh, rapidly spreading fire or uh, larger fires. The position of a uh, fire extinguisher in any building or any uh, yards usually denoted by the sign given on right side of your screen. Let's talk about typical uh, fire extinguishers anatomy. The most important one is discharge lever. It helps to start and control the discharge of a agent from the extinguisher. And there should be a locking pin or seal for the uh, for avoiding the accidental uh, discharge of a agent. And carrying handle. It is used to uh, carry uh, the extinguisher easily and uh, sometimes used to mount on a wall or uh, mounting purposes. Data plate. This is, where, this is where we can find the uh, details about the fire extinguisher, what kind of uh, uh, extinguisher is it, what kind of agents are used in and capacity of the extinguisher, etc, etc. And the body. This is where it can it hold the agent in fire extinguisher. It's usually made up of uh, special aluminum alloy, uh, like that. Except the CO2 extinguisher, we can find a pressure gauge. This is used to uh, visually recognize whether the extinguisher is in good condition or uh, it is being used. Uh, is it's not empty. It's uh, we can visually uh, analyze that it's uh, in good condition. So, in this case, there will be a green region and red region. If the needle is in green region we can understand that it's in good condition or it not been used it's in a useful condition for any extinguisher regardless of uh, 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 what kind of uh, agents it used and design there will be hose nozzle and orifice only its design is changed with the uh, extinguishing agent or the design or the capacity of the extinguisher. That's all about the anatomy of the extinguisher. Usually uh, portable fire extinguisher. So what we do if we are in a uh, uh, fire situation? or fire emergency we should uh, respond firstly this is called fire emergency response so the uh, procedure for an emergency response is uh, short term into race that means rescue alarm contain and extinguish so if there is any fire situation we should uh, uh, be uh, we should move to the safe region and help to others uh, get moved into uh, safer region as fast as possible. Next one is alarm. Alert by activating any available alarm system or contact any uh, uh, security or any uh, reporting location on firing uh, alarm on site personnel alert on any uh, site personals etc next one is contain uh, 
Confirm the fire as much as possible by closing the doors and windows behind you during evacuation. It helps to uh, non spread uh, to uh, avoid spreading the fire. That this is called contains. And E stands for extinguish and sometimes for evacuation. And you should only attempt to put out the fire equipment and it is safe to do yourself. <coughs> If it's not safe, uh, it's not safe. Let's evacuate from them as soon as possible. And how to use an fire extinguisher? It's usually say pass, and it means pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. If there is a fire, after pulling the a safety pin aim the at lower base of the flame by means of horn of the fire extinguisher and to start spraying agents squeeze the handle and for better result sweep the horn or hose into side by side that's called sweeping. Let's watch a video for the further understanding. Read the label and learn how to operate the fire extinguisher and pull the safety pin of the cylinder. Face the hose of the cylinder towards the fire and press the handle. Keep on the fire hose into side by side until fire is extinguished. Call emergency immediately if fire is beyond the uh, control. Special precaution kept during the firefighting is don't use water on the electrical electrical equipment. It may give electrical shock. While using carbon dioxide oxide cylinder cylinder and hose become very cold and it will be, it may become a cold burn and and use uh, very carefully for avoiding the cold burn don't obstruct the way to fire extinguisher if you don't know the firefighting seek help immediately so let's talk about the fire extinguisher type or fire extinguishing uh, agents first one is the general one water or pressurized water it's used for class A type of fires it's usually come with 2.5 gallons of water and it can be used for one minute and it will fully discharge within one minute and the <coughs> condition or the health of a uh, uh, extinguisher can be uh, uh, visually uh, checked from the gauge shown um, given on that and for extinguishers 30 to 40 feet of maximum effective range is given can be started and stopped as necessarily and it's not uh, like DCP it can be uh, intermittently used the water is affected uh, uh, affected by the uh, um, fire by cooling the material and cooling down the material or uh, um, the fuel in uh, under the ignition point and uh, that's why the fire will get uh, suppressed. Water agent fire extinguisher usually come in red colored cylinder, as shown in the figure. So let's talk about the carbon dioxide extinguisher. Carbon dioxide extinguisher usually uh, used for class B, C, and K fires. It's uh, general, uh, generally come with 2.5 to 100 pound of CO2 cylinder. 
it can be used to 80 to uh, 30 seconds of disturb time this has no uh, pressure gauge unlike uh, like the uh, DCP or water cylinder and cap capacity of the cylinder is verified by the weighing scale usually Uh, it have an effective uh, range of 3 to 8 feet it extinguished by the smoothing burning material that means it's uh, it's restrict the oxygen uh, to entering to the fire region that's called smoothing and the uh, major disadvantage of this uh, is it decreases the temperature effectiveness is decreased by as the temperature of the burning material increases okay CO2 agent fire extinguisher usually came in black or red color textured CO2 in black data plate on the cylinder as denoted in the figure dry chemical powder also called as DCP this is used for class A, B, C and K mostly all kind of uh, fires this is usually ca came with the capacity 2.5 to 20 LBS and it will last up to 8 to 25 second of dissert time And capacity or healthy of uh, health of this uh, extinguisher is usually uh, checked from the gauge given on the cylinder. It has 5 to 20 feet of maximum FAT range. This is all uh, like CO2. This is also extinguished by smoothing. That means it uh, restricts the oxygen to entering entering on the fire area. Unlike any other uh, extinguisher, it is also coming in auto actuation or auto DCP. In this, it's a, there is a sprinkler to sense whether there is a fire or not. DCP fire extinguisher usually came in red cylinder, denoting powder or dry powder in blue data plates. In form type, uh, fire extinguisher it's uh, usually uh, used for class A and class B fires and general capacity is 2.5 to 100 LBS it's also called aqueous film forming foam it lasts up to 8 to 60 seconds of discharge time uh, like DCP and, uh, DCP and water it has also an pressure gauge to check whether it's in a good condition or not. It has a 30 to 100 feet of mass in a range. It's also extinguished by the smoothing like DCP and CO2. This usually come uh, in red color denoting foam in white data plate. last one is halon this is used for class A and class B fires halogenated hydrocarbon agent usually called halon it's a gaseous agent it's usually come with 2.5 to 100 LPS it take 20 to 60 second discharge time the main disadvantage of Halon is its environmental impact and its cost. It is most expensive of extinguishers agent and it effect affects the ozone depletion. So it's banned by most of the countries. Uh, it's only use um, very low conditions. It also has a pressure gauge to understand whether it's in good condition or not. It has an effective um, range of 30 to 14 feet. It's also extinguished by the smoothing uh, like DCP, CO2 and foam.
okay thank you for watching this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe let's see you on next video thank you bye bye